Hello Curious, and welcome to my Heroic Primordial's 25 man guide. I'm going to assume that you have done this encounter in normal mode, and as such, I will not be covering most of the normal mode abilities. For this encounter, you want to bring 2 to 3 tanks, 6 to 7 healers, with the rest of the raid being DPS. Try not to have more than 5 to 6 male DPS on this encounter, as ranged DPS is a lot easier to deal with, as they can spread out and generally take a lot less damage than melee. The heroic addition to this encounter is the Viscous Horrors. These adds will spawn every 30 seconds and have to be tanked away from Primordius and eventually killed. They have two abilities. The first ability is Black Blood, which is a dot that stacks, that they put on whoever is tanking them about every 8 seconds. Black Blood deals 20,000 nature damage every 3 seconds per stack and also makes melee attacks done to Primordius by the debuff tank to deal 20,000 damage per stack to Primordius. This debuff lasts for 1 minute. The second ability is Deadly Mutagen. If a viscous horror gets a melee range of Primordius, they will explode for 1 million nature damage rate wide. Besides the viscous horror, Primordius will also be able to have 4 mutations on him at the same time instead of 3. Also, the Maformed Blood debuff will deal damage to viscous horrors hit by the debuff tank. The strategy for this encounter is very similar to normal mode, and as soon as you figure out the tank strategy for the viscous horrors, a kill should be coming shortly after. You want to start by deciding on how many tanks you want to use and how you want to kite the boss. There are a few good ways of doing this. If you choose to use two tanks, then have tank A start on Primordius and tank B tank the first two Viscous Horrors. Before the third Viscous Horror spawns, make sure that the first two Viscous Horrors that tank B tanked are dead and then make a tank switch by having tank B taunt the boss and tank A get the next two Viscous Horrors. Basically, Tank B gets Viscous Horrors 1 and 2, Tank A gets 3 and 4, rinse and repeat. If you choose to use 3 tanks, then do the same thing as with 2 tanks, except that on the 3rd, 6th, 9th and so on Viscous Horror, have Tank C pick that one up. So Tank B gets 1 and 2, Tank C gets 3, Tank A gets 4 and 5, Tank C gets 6, and so on. Tank C never taunts the boss with this strategy, but should still attack the boss whenever he is not tanking a Viscous Horror to deal extra damage to the boss via the Black Blood debuff. With either tank strategy, what you want to accomplish is to have 8 to 12 Black Blood debuffs on the Viscous Horror tank, so that when he taunts the boss, he will deal a massive amount of damage. Make sure that your Black Blood stacks or Malfour Blood stacks fall off when you do tank switches. We use 3 tanks on our kill and in this video. You can either do the most regular way of kiting the boss around the room in a circular fashion to avoid the volatile pools, or you can kite the boss in a small quadrant on one side of the room. We did the latter on our kill and in this video and it worked great. If you choose to kite the boss in a quadrant on one side of the room, pull the boss to the middle in the beginning while tanking the viscous horrors towards the ranged DPS side. Have your melee DPS kill slimes on the side you want to kite the boss on and your ranged DPS on the other side. This is to ensure that you get as few volatile pools as possible on the kiting side. Once your melee are all fully mutated, pull the boss to that side and tank the viscous horrors in the middle of the room for the rest of the fight. Once that is done with, you will want to have fortified multi daughters like Affliction Warlocks, Moonkins and or Shadow Priest assigned to be killing living fluids. This is to make sure that there are always enough pools down for your DPS and healers to always be fully mutated. After you have set up the tank strategy to use, the kiting strategy to use, and how many multi daughters you want on the living fluids, it is basically just like normal mode. You spread out for acidic spines and erupting postules, while soaking gas bladder as well as making sure you are fully mutated for as long as possible. One thing to note is that your healers will definitely want to get fully mutated as well, as the boss will deal a lot of damage towards the end of the fight. I hope this guy was helpful in killing this monstrosity. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below or contact me in game. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.